Yeah, no, thank you. So, so yeah, from this week, we obviously see, I mean, organizations are being kind of forced to to be more to be more privacy aware and to do privacy threat modeling in order to comply uh, with GDPR, um, which also asks for the need, I guess, for more people that are capable of doing privacy threat modeling, right? So our next question is actually a bit related with that. It's it's related with a with more of it of uh, the career path that is uh, privacy threat modeling. So just just as a question, would, for example, I be able to become a privacy threat modeler? Um, is it a real job or is it usually a, an activity you do within other roles? So you're, for example, your uh, security officer and you do privacy threat modeling as one of the activities or are there people that actually dedicate themselves? Uh, maybe I know academically, Uh, it is the case, but maybe within an organization, are there sometimes people that are 100% just the ones that do uh, privacy threat modeling? Um, and in general, what does the career path of someone that wants to do privacy threat modeling look like? I, I would say that typically uh, a security champion would take that role. Uh, software architects could also uh, add the threat modeling to their belts um, and uh, yeah everybody can threat model like we said in the beginning um, and, and it's absolutely a real job but I, I think that it, it's like a responsibility that falls within the role of a security champion or a security expert that does also other things uh, along with that um, in, in terms of where, where to start um, you, you could you could go and uh, And, and, and do some research work or, or do a PhD at Distranet, and then you're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, we are always looking for more people. So if you're interested, please come join us. Um, yeah, but, but basically, um, I, I think it's part interest as well. Um, the, the background Aram mentioned is important um, in addition to the security engineer, a privacy engineer, of course, if you're thinking about privacy threat modeling. Um, and I kind of lost my train of thoughts here. Um, but, but yeah, basically anybody can do it. Um, and and I, uh, you said like, does is it a designated role? It depends on the organization. If it's a, a big organization, then probably it can be. Um, I know there are some consultancy firms who focus specifically on bringing uh, threat modeling um, to, to companies. So, of course, obviously, if you work there, then you will be a full-time threat modeler. But, yeah, it depends to answer as a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> 